Okay, this is going to be a quick demonstration of a man-in-the-middle attack of ARP spoofing. So what we're going to do is we've set up a situation where there is a computer that's communicating right here, the victim, and it's on this private network and it's communicating with the router. We've got a wireless router here. So we've got the victim talking to the wireless router, getting web pages, reading email, all kinds of things, right? And there's someone else on the network who's our attacker. And the attacker is going to use um, ARP spoofing or a man in the middle attack to intercept traffic in between the victim and the wireless router gateway, right? So the first thing that this attacker is going to need to do is going to need to sniff traffic to discover the IP address on the network. So once the attacker figures out the victim's IP address, then the attacker will try to impersonate the router by assuming the router's MAC address. There are two addresses involved here. You have the IP address, that is how we contact hosts on a network is by IP address. But when we actually deliver packets, we deliver them through the MAC address, which is a layer two address. Now, the MAC address is not a verified protocol. It's not an authenticated protocol. So the attacker could just what we call spoof or impersonate the MAC address at layer two. So the victim thinks that he's sending the packet to the gateway, but in fact, he's sending it to the attacker. And then likewise, we're going to also impersonate the MAC address of the victim computer so that the router, when the router sends information back to the host, or it thinks it's sending information back to the host, it's actually sending it to our MAC address instead. So um, communication from the router to a host right here, this victim, is MAC address to MAC address. But if we can convince these two devices that we are the MAC address that they're trying to talk to, then we'll have a scenario like this down here at the bottom where the victim sends information to the man in the middle, the man in the middle forwards it onto the router, the router sends it back to the man in the middle, and then on to the victim. Hence the name man in the middle attack. And we're gonna use ARP spoofing to impersonate the MAC addresses of the victim and of the gateway. Okay, to demonstrate how this attack is going to work, I've got a Linksys wireless router and I have a victim computer and we're going to use an Ubuntu uh, virtual machine. So I have a VMware uh, virtual machine right here for the victim computer. And then for the attacking computer, I'm going to use Backtrack 5 this is revision one, and this is a virtual machine that you can download from the Backtrack website, and it's set to go. So all you do is download the virtual machine, um, unzip it, and open it up with your VMware player, and it's ready to go. Okay, so we have the two virtual machines here, and to make this work, what I've done for the virtual machines is I've said I've set under virtual machine settings, I've set both network adapters to bridged mode and to get this to work it's it works a lot better in bridged mode so um, I've set that one and also this one you can see the virtual machine and you can see here I can also go to removable devices networking network adapter settings and once again the network adapter is in bridge mode so they need to be on the same network so for my Ubuntu machine if I do a quick if config, you can see that it's picked up an IP address just like it would um, if it was actually just a physical machine on the network. So let's see here. The IP address that it's picked up here is 1.127, 192.168.1.127. There's the MAC address. Okay, you can see 8D33. All right, so 1.127 is our victim machine. And then over here, for the Backtrack machine, once you get Backtrack started, you're going to need to um, find out its IP address. Let's just check it out here. We'll do an if config. And this computer is 1.108. And, um, and you, you can see its hardware address right here, 0062, 1.108, right? Okay, and then we will ping, we'll make sure we can ping our gateway. So they're both on the 192.168.1 network, and I can ping 
192.168.1.1 and I get a reply from the wireless router at 1.1. I can look at my ARP cache right now and see that 1.1 it's actually a DDWRT wireless router and its MAC address at 77F4. Alright so time to do the man in the middle attack. Okay let's let's attempt to see if we can get this backtrack machine to play the man in the middle and intercept traffic in between our Ubuntu client and the router and then be able to see that traffic. And to do this what I'm going to do is the first thing that I did when I um, opened up a terminal right here um, on my backtrack machine is I ran an apt-get update to update my list of packages that are available and then what I also did was I ran an install um, ettercap and I also needed to install ettercap-gtk so I ran both of those installations in order to get this to work now I should be able to run ettercap so let's run ettercap ettercap space dash G for graphical user mode and there's the program. Now once you have Ettercap running you can start using it. Ettercap is a, a network sniffing program that will um, examine uh, packets on the network. It'll sniff traffic on the network and it'll actively examine um, the packets and will actually be able to place traffic on the network. So what we can do is we'll say sniff unified sniffing the network interface that we're going to be sniffing on alright and starts it up and then we're going to scan for hosts on the network so we'll scan for hosts it's going to see what IP addresses are available on the network it found three hosts so we'll say hosts host lists and there's the host now the victim computer is 1.127 and there's its MAC address which we need to do the ARP spoofing and there is host 1.1 which is our router and the MAC address of the router and so the goal is to basically broadcast packets to these two devices replacing our MAC address with theirs so that they think that we are the destination MAC address and that way traffic instead of going to the router at 1.1 at this MAC address it will actually come to us and then traffic destined for 1.127 instead of going to its MAC address it'll go to our MAC address so now that we know what we're gonna do we'll select 1.1 which is the router and we'll click add to target 1 and then we'll click 1.127 and we'll add that to target 2 alright so we have that set up and now we'll just go man in the middle ARP poisoning sniff remote connections we're not poisoning only one way we're poisoning two ways so that the traffic can basically be forwarded through us so we'll sniff remote connections and we'll click OK and you can see that the ARP poisoning victims has started right so now all we have to do is click start start sniffing alright so now we're sniffing the traffic on the network right so you have to do that start start sniffing and now we're listening for traffic on the network so what we'll do now is on our we'll generate some traffic on the client and we'll see if it is um, being uh, read by our backtrack man in the middle machine alright let's see if we can generate some traffic on the network so we'll say FTP FTP dot Netscape dot com hit enter and it doesn't look like we have a connection we'll open up a web browser and we'll see if we can go to my website alright there's my website so you can see here that we're still sniffing traffic here and what I'm gonna do is 
I'll just go down to my website and I'll pretend that I'm a user, my own user. I'll say Dan and then I'll log in with the password test and hit login, right? And we'll see if we've picked it up over here. You can see right here on EdderCap that the program has intercepted the traffic. There's username Dan, password test, and the website that I used to put in that username and password. So you can see that this man in the middle attack worked perfectly because I was able to intercept both the username, password, and the website that this other computer, this host on the network, was attempting to reach, right? If I tried to do, still want to try to generate some other type of traffic here. Um, let's see here. All right, and it asks us to put in our username and password, so I'll type test and test and hit OK. All right, and let's see if we've picked up this traffic. And you can see there Mozilla at example.com, anonymous user, user test, password test, our man in the middle machine that's running our ARP spoofing using EdderCap was able to pick up that traffic.